Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. So we have already looked at Indy NXT and later in the week we will look at Super Formula and IndyCar. Today though is Ladies Day and we are looking at the F1 Academy. The series that basically replaced the W Series for women drivers and is on par with Formula 4. The first running of the series in 2023 was essentially a test running with the 2024 championship being much more closely linked with Formula 1. So let's look at all the teams and drivers taking part and try and make some predictions. This will be one of the shorter preview videos as there are only 5 teams with 15 drivers plus wild cards that haven't been announced yet. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's jump into the video. Rodin. Abby Pulling is an Alpine Academy driver and has been for a few years in some way or another. She's even driven a Formula 1 car. She has never won a race but usually drives to a pretty high standard. 7 podiums and 5th overall in F1 Academy last year, 3 podiums in W Series and 4th overall in 2022, 7 podiums in British F4 and she is returning to that series in 2024. She will be a top runner again but maybe try and win a race Abby. It's worked for others in the past. Lola Lovinfoss raced for Campos in the series last year and was eh, average at best. She got a few podiums but only finished 10th overall. Outside of that she spent 2 years in Spanish F4 and never scored points. Not very hopeful but she is only 18. Jessica Edgar is the cousin of Formula 3 driver Johnny Edgar, a family with racing heritage. Jessica is also only 18 but was pretty good on her debut season in GB4 in 2022. She finished 7th overall and is the only one of the roading drivers to have actually won a race after taking victory in the final F1 Academy race of 2023. Three decent young drivers for Rodin, Abby Pulling could be a title contender and Edgar and Lovin Foss will score points for the team. Could be a good year for Rodin in the team's championship but I don't see any of these drivers being champion. MP Motorsport How's this for continuity? MP have kept all three of their 2023 drivers. Emily de Haas has only ever scored points in female only race series and that includes the single point she scored in the W series. She did take a win in the F1 Academy last year but only finished 9th overall. Both she and Hamda al Kabaizi are part of the Red Bull driver program but her entry is not supported by Red Bull. As for Hamda al Kabaizi, she is the better of the two al Kabaizi sisters or at least the slightly more accomplished. She was in title contention last year but ended up third. She has won races in Formula 4 UAE and been in title contention in that series previously and she even led the new Saudi Arabian Formula 4 series after the first round but has slipped back since. Of the three, she's the one most likely to be near the top of the score sheet. Amna al Kabaizi was also a race winner last year and finished sixth overall. She may not be on the same level as her younger sister but she is capable and MP have three proven race winners in this series to really mount a challenge in 2024. Campos. Nerea Marti is one of those drivers who usually gets good consistent results but is never really in title contention. Much like Abby Pulling except Nerea Marti does occasionally win a race or two. She finished 4th overall last year and took a win. She also finished 4th overall in the W Series a couple of years ago. She has had some very good results in GT racing but has never really put together a really good run in single seaters. Carrie Schreiner is also a very accomplished GT driver and one of the most experienced drivers in the field. In single seaters she has had issues. Despite taking a win in F1 Academy last year she only finished 11th overall and other attempts at Formula 4 have yielded few results. In GT racing however she has won her class in the 24 hours Nürburgring race and won her class in various Lamborghini series but single seaters just never really works out for her. Chloe Chambers is an adopted American and the youngest on the team. I think she's a great driver, a race winner in Formula Regional Oceania where she outdrove vastly more experienced drivers than her. She spent the rest of last year racing in the Porsche Caymans in America and took several wins. She had a very impressive 2023 and if she takes another step forward in 2024 she could be considered a threat. If she continues to get better she'll be a world class driver. ART Grand Prix. The French team have a whole new lineup for 2024 but they have nabbed Bianca Bustamante who does seem to have some hype behind her. The Filipino driver is backed by McLaren and is a point scorer at this level. She scored points in the W Series back in 2022 and scored a couple in Formula 4 UAE. Last year's F1 Academy Series showed some promise. She took two wins and finished seventh overall but got caught up in a few crashes. If she can improve her consistency she'll do a lot better than that and I can see her taking a few wins. 
Aurelia Nobels is just 17 years old and is very inexperienced. She hasn't accomplished much in her very short career so far, a few points in various Formula 4 series, and this is very much a learning year for her. After the death of her father Ken Block, who passed away far too young, Leah Block has taken a step into the mainstream with performances in Extreme E and Nitro Cross. She has a lot more experience on dirt than on tarmac, but the 17 year old is backed by Williams and will have a lot of fans backing her for this run at the F1 Academy, a very young inexperienced lineup for ART, whilst Nobels and Block will be spending the year learning by doing, Buster Monte will be their top driver and looking for a shot at the championship. Kramer. Our final team is Prima. Last year's champion Marta Garcia has moved up to Formula Regional Europe, whilst Bianca Bustamante has moved to ART and Chloe Chong is just absent from the series. So, three new drivers and they have the most experienced driver lineup overall, with World Endurance LMP2 driver Dorian Pan, who has also finished runner up in the Formula 4 Southeast Asia series and took a win in the Formula 4 UAE Championship earlier this year. She is also a Ferrari Challenge Europe champion has class wins in the 24 hours of Spa and in the European Le Mans series. The 20 year old is the most accomplished driver on the grid. Maya Rug has spent last year racing in the Formula Regional Europe series and scored points in the midfield, doing an okay job. She was a regular point scorer in Formula 4 a couple of years ago, but has never managed to grab a podium in any series she has raced in. Tina Halsman is the only driver not to have done a whole lot in her career, but she is only 17 and only debuted in car racing last year podiums in Formula Winter, but no points in Formula 4 Italy or Euro 4. Dorian Pan and Maya Rug may be young, but they have spent the last couple of years racing against higher class opposition than the majority of the drivers in this field. Dorian Pan is my pick for champion, and Prima will dominate the team standings. They are all the teams and drivers racing in F1 Academy in 2024. There will also be a wildcard entry at every round, ran by Prima and eligible to score points. The only one announced so far is Rima Jafali. The Saudi Arabian driver is okay and has scored points in GB3 and has had success in GT racing, but she's nothing special. Let me know your thoughts on the F1 Academy in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a good one.